Hello and welcome to another Harsh Noise Gear Review. I am here today with uh, Clouds, a Clouds clone. Now, Clouds is a um, very popular uh, module that was made by Mutable Instruments. And uh, the software and the hardware was made open source. And so it's very popular to clone it and to, um, well make a new copy of it in a different style. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be investigating like the uh, the U-Bursts, which is like a micro clouds. It's a little slimmer than the full-size clouds. I did own a full-size clouds, um, but uh, it's in the shop right now. Uh, so I'm using a smaller one. My current setup... Um, is just I'm running a Shure SM58 vocal microphone into a Dope for A119, which is just bringing the volume up to modular level, and I'm running it out here into clouds, and I'm running it currently clouds clean, so you're just hearing my voice through it, and I'm running the left and right out, hard panned into my mixer channels one and two. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go over the features of clouds, and uh, then I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna do so while demonstrating it through vocal. I'm gonna use be using this vocal microphone to demonstrate its features. Or we're only gonna go over the granular synthesis mode today. Um, we're not gonna to touch on the tape delay or the looping delay or the spectral madness or parasites today. We're just gonna talk about one of its five modes, which is granular synthesis. Now this is one of the clouds is one of the first granular synths to really like kick off the popularity of granular synthesis. So I'm going to explain the features. I'm going to explain granular synthesis uh, all through the microphone. Then I'm going to um, demonstrate uh, like no input patching clouds. So feeding it back into itself and seeing what just that cloud sounds like and how to play that. Then we're going to be running stereo contact microphones into it and seeing how that works and doing a performance with that. Um, and then, f yeah, that's it. Um, I first want to talk for a second about this box here. This is the prayer box. Um, this is a little case I use. I've used it in a few other videos. Um, I've talked about the harsh noise wall machine and the um, Moth Hunter mods um, Rascalito. But I haven't talked about any of these other ones, but they're either simple or I don't really feel like doing a review of them. Like the Dope for 119 is really just a, it, you put a, you put something into it and it brings it up to modular level. And it also has an envelope follower and a gate. And we'll get into using those. But we're really just going to be talking about clouds today. Now, clouds is a granular synthesis. And what, granular synthesizer. And what that means is it takes either like a sample or like incoming audio and it uh like takes that as a sample replays it back like a delay would but what it's doing is it takes that sample and then it chops up the sample into what are called grains little micro samples within the overarching sample now think of it like a like a pie is your sample and each slice is like a little tiny slice is your grain. And what this does is it, what clouds does is it plays back grains and you can change the size of the grain, the position of the grain in the overall sample, the pitch of the grain, and then you can change a few other parameters. It's got built in reverb, it can do stereo spread, and it has a whole bunch of other uh, controls. Um, we're going to touch on all of that, but, um, let's just, for an example, let's just, f um, so there's two ways you can use it either as it's running or you can use it, uh, freezing a sample. So let's go ahead and just try it while it's running just a little just bit, a little like, bit this. like this. And so you, and can, so you see, can see, um, um, it's repeating, it's repeating what, I'm what I'm saying right now. Right I now have, I have, uh, uh no reverb, no, reverb on, on, no, no feedback, feedback, and no, and no uh, stereo. stereo. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to talk, it's hard like, to talk like this. Stereo spread. Stereo spread. But, but 
um, um, what we're going to do, gonna do is we're going to freeze, freeze a sample. A now, what you could hear I was doing is I was rotating the position knob and scrubbing like through the sample. Like this is the start of the sample. This is the end of the sample. So, and uh, the blend knob up here, I'm using as a mix. It's wet, dry. So dry, it's just my voice. And then all the way to the right is wet, just clouds. In the middle, we can do a little bit of both. And I'm gonna keep it like here, so it's I'm a little louder than it. Um, so the position is the position of the grain that's playing back. Right? The size is the size of the sample. Freeze, 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 fre
Um, and so, oh, and then in gain is your volume. You turn that, you turn that down too far. And yep. this is, this is just the extra gain that your incoming signal is getting. I usually leave this kind of set once I figured yep. out what it is for the, um, yeah, for what I'm doing. Anywho. Abracadabra. Um, something, something else, else worth, worth noting, noting is, is that, that uh, oh, there's so, so many, many things, things on this thing. thing. What's, What's next? next? Okay, let's go over what the blend knob can do. Because the blend knob can do four different things. So if you notice here, uh, that bottom light changes from green to red, right? But the other light, the other lights don't change when I'm switching between wet and dry. Check this out. You, there's two buttons, right? There's two like little black buttons right here, like an edit and then like a like a uh, like a load and edit sample thing, which I don't really use. And then there's um the mode and like connect uh, mode and blend knob control. So the first light is wet dry, like we've discovered. The second light is stereo spread now let's hear what that sounds like uh we had it at zero but let's uh go, go ahead, ahead and, and do, do some, stereo some stereo spread, spread. let's make it let's all, make the, it way all up, the way up to make it, up, to make it dramatic. dramatic yeah you can hear yeah, that you can hear that Let it bounces, it bounces left and right and right and uh, uh in the in middle, middle it'll not as not far as pan, pan. Like, uh, like if you, if turn, you turn the stereo, stereo spread, spread all the way up way up all the way up all the way up all the way up all the way down. Sorry, I'm having Sorry, fun. I'm having fun. Uh, uh, it it bounces. bounces it hard it pans, pans, pans the clouds. The clouds uh, grains. grains. If you keep if it in the middle, it like soft pans. Them. Them. If you keep if them, you over keep here, them over here, it's mono. It's mono. So let's give it so a little bit of stereo, stereo spread. spread, and then let's go let's to, the next, to the next, the third one, third one, which is feedback. 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 Just like a delay. Delay. So zero. There's no delay. Delay. A little bit, 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 more, 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 more,
Oh, let's go over the CV inputs before I move on. Oh, let's turn on that reverb. Goddamn. Just a little bit. A little bit of reverb. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're back on our bullshit. So on our bullshit. Uh, let's, uh, let's, um, 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 um. So, okay, you so, have, okay, you have, okay, you have, okay, you have, oh, fuck off, okay. <laughs> you have a CV, you have a left, right in for audio, you have a left, right out for audio. You also have CV inputs for your volt per octave, your pitch, one for your blend knob, but it's whatever the blend knob is active as, even because it has four functions, so you have to, like, select which one's active, and then that is controlled by the blend CV. Uh, you have a trigger to trigger a gain. If this receives a clock or a trigger, it goes boop and sends a and plays a grain. So if you have your density set on zero, and you can use that to trigger a gain. I use this. I use that a lot in like techno and like beat music with you know rhythms and stuff. Because I'll throw like a clock or a trigger in there, and then it'll like repeat what I said. It'll like throw a grain of my voice on the beat, which is super fun. Um, mm, freeze, you can use a gate or like a other button to trigger your freeze function. Texture is the texture knob, density is the density knob, position is the position knob, and size is the size knob. It's like pretty straightforward CV positive negative based on where you like set the knob and what CV you're sending it. Um, you can also straight up send things audio. And we're going to send some audio signal. Because, like, why not? We're going to send it to the volt per octave. Because um, that's the noisiest thing you can do with this thing, really. Is, uh, so you have your, you have your, uh, your, your thing. Your, 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 your thing. 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 Right? Thing. Okay, so we got our thing. Thing. And Thank. then let's uh, volt Thank. per octave it. Thank. Meow. Thank. 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 Okay. 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 Let's, Let's do, do some self patching. Some self -patching. Uh, so uh, for so this, for this I, am, I am wow, wow turning, 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 turning that turning down, 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 turning it down, turning it down. Turning it down. Okay. Um, for this next section, I am going to. What I'm going to do is we're going to take out my microphone and the right output I'm gonna so right now left is hard pan left and right is hard pan right but I'm going to um, hard pan left to this or I'm gonna pan left to the center like so unplug this one so we have no more right input but that's okay because we're pan to the center but the reason why I wanted that right output is for what I'm about to do. I'm going to plug the output into the input and then play only the knobs and the CV controls. Actually, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and mult the output. So we're going to run the output into our mult over here. So now the signal is being molted six times. And now I'm grabbing a bunch of cables because uh, I'm going to use them to um, do funky junk. So the first cable is going to be the output, molted, or just one, one, right back into the input. And we're going to stop listening to me and listen to that.
beautiful absolutely beautiful let's uh let's get our mics back panned let's get this back that way okay cool uh, i still have a lot of reverb there we go cool yeah that was uh showing off the self-patching which is wild gorgeous sounds you can pull out just from just from having itself uh feed back into itself really cool always got to try that with an effects Every time I got an effect, I gotta try try that, you know. Um, what else do I want to showcase? How to how to use this for noise? Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna uh, normally. 
let me tell you a little bit about the case before I get into the next setup. Um, normally what I do is I'll perform with just this case and, and nothing else. And what I'll do is this, this cable here is connected to a micro, a contact microphone that's connected to the bottom board of this box. And so I sing into it, it reverberates, I sing into it, uh, this plugs into the Dover A119. I patch the audio in through the harsh noise wall machine and through clouds, and I use the other things to manipulate and modify them. And it's basically like, I got a microphone with a glorified fuzz pedal and a glorified delay and reverb, and that's all you really need for like a cool, weird noise setup. And I just have it modify itself, and it's fun. Um, it's a self-contained little noise setup. Um, yeah, and that's what I like to do with this. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to something absolutely crunchy and insane. We're going to do, um, oh, first, uh, we're going to do some feedback, some more feedback. <laughs> first, we're going to do microphone feedback. And to do that, we're going to literally just turn this shit up on my speakers. We're just going to turn this shit way up on my speakers and we're going to give it a bunch of gain. We're going to give it a bunch of gain. Yeah. Wow. And then. And then. Yeah, really fun yeah, for really a fun for for feedback manipulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Enough dilly dallying. I'm gonna plug in uh, two contact microphones. Oops. I'm going to plug in two contact microphones into two fuzz pedals and then run them into our left, right. And we're going to do a little performance with uh, them and clouds. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. And that'll probably be the end of the video. Um, I'll just play you out. Don't forget to like and also subscribe. Uh, I love you. Wow.
Okay. Something I literally forgot to mention is that there's that I was only using one second mode. There's also a two second mode, a four second mode, and an eight second mode on clouds. Like you can do like whole phrases with the eight second mode. I was just using the one second mode. It's worth mentioning that I should have demoed that. Uh, it's really cool. It's like one second in stereo or two seconds in mono at the same like sample rate or they're like a lower sample rate, but you can't really hear the difference uh, at four seconds at stereo and then eight seconds at mono. Um, yeah. And it's really useful and really cool for longer phrases because you can get like whole phrases and words to repeat as a grain, which is really cool. But I uh, forgot to go over it. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to like and also subscribe. Like I already said, blah, blah, blah. I love you. Goodbye.